Good evening and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about radial field lines. Now in a previous video I showed, talked to you about uniform electric fields and how that their lines are nicely equally spaced because the, uni, the actual radio, the, the electric field strength is constant. In a radial field that isn't the case. However, the same thing applies about the direction as from the uniform electric fields. So you, uh, electric field goes from positive to negative. So if I was to draw them coming out of my positive charge here, they would look like this. And the direction would be like this too, because it's going away. It goes from the positive. Because remember, the direction is due to the test charge, which is positive, which direction it would go. Now, to a negative, okay, the, the direction kind of looks very similar like this here. However, remember they go from positive to negative, so my positive test charge, oops, do this one here, would go inwards. <clears throat> now when I've got two charges like that, a positive and a negative, remember these field lines are representing the field strength. So there will be regions where the field strength from one will equal the other. And this is where the field lines will start to join up. Oops. <laughs> okay. So this here is what a positive and a negative charge would look like if they were next to each other. And if I was to draw the same thing for opposite charges, I would have something that would look like this. Okay. And then here, the arrow is important. So for a positive charge, they would be going away. And for the negative charge, they would be like this, going inwards. Now this region here, the reason we have this point where they're not joining is when two like things come together, they repel. So there must be a point where the field strength between them would be zero. Because one is going to be, if I put my test charge here, one of them is going to be pushing it this way, one of them is going to be pushing my test charge this way, and there's a point where they must be basically pulling it by the same amount in each direction. This means there is no force on it. And because field strength is the resultant force the object feels divided by the charge, if there is zero resultant field, uh, force, there is zero resultant field. And that is this point here. So this point here is the point where I put my, if I put my positive, it's going to be pulled this way by this one. No, wrong way around, sorry. It's going to be attracted this way by this one and attracted this way by this one by the same amounts. So A and B so A equals B. Therefore the electric field strength is zero which is why there is no field there. Exactly the same happens here at the top if I had a positive charge here. It would be repelled by that one and repelled by that one, and again I have A and B, and A would equal B, so there'd be field strength would equal zero. So that there is the basics of this. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take it a little bit further. I have assumed in all of these cases that the charges were the same. What would happen if I had unequal charges? So what I've got here is I've got a positive 4 nanocoulomb and a slightly bigger 6 nanocoulomb there. So these are both positive, so they are going to have the same diagram as here. 
But this is going to be something slightly different. Remember, this null region is the point where the forces are going to be equal in both directions. And this one, because it's going to have a, it's got a bigger charge, it has got a stronger field, which means it's going to have more of an effect the further away I am than the 4 nanocoulomb charge. A way to think about it is if this was the sun and this was the earth. If I was to stand at a point where the earth is going to pull me as much as the sun, I'm actually going to have to be closer to the earth. So my field lines are going to look like this. Where I've got this null region closer to the 4 nanocoulomb. So this is the point where this one is repelling it. So imagine this is a positive charge. And this one here is repelling it. So I'll call this A. And B, A will equal B. And it will be closer to the 4 because the 6 will have a stronger field. Not forgetting, of course, the arrows on this. So this is the direction of the field here. OK? So that there is how to draw electric field lines for a radial field.